Well, hello, Gene Patterson. We're interrupting live programming to bring you the story of a toxic spill on the UT campus. Now, our own Justin Cipriani is out there. Justin, what can you tell us? Yes, a tanker's tipped over. Um, it's in the CSX yard across from the UT Rec Center. Um, I've been told that a significant amount of trichloroethylene has leaked from the tanker. I've been told this is a dangerous substance. Um, most of it is in liquid pools right now, but we have KFD officers on the scene and they are trying to use sand to absorb the chemicals. Um, so far, two rail workers and four students have been taken to the University Medical Center. Um, I don't know if any buildings have been evacuated yet, but I advise you to stay clear of the roads by Andy Holt and Pat, Pat Head Summit. Most of these roads are closed right now. Okay. Now, do we know anything about this trichloroethylene, what it is, what it does? Um, I'm not sure exactly the details of what it does. All I know is a dangerous substance, and you should steer clear of the area. Okay, we'll be checking back for further details very soon. Thanks. Okay, Gene Patterson, once again we're interrupting programming to bring you the latest on that toxic spill at the UT campus. Our own Jessica Simmons is on the campus, and, and Jessica, what's happening out there? Hi, I'm here at the CSX yard across from the UT Rec Center, where apparently a tanker car on the siding has tipped over after the track under the tanker failed. And an amount of the, whatever that is, <laughs> has leaked. And the tank can contain 20,000 gallons, and although most of it is still in liquid pools, some of it has in fact leaked and turned into a gas. There are two rail workers and four students who were taken to UT Medical. Okay. Do we know anything about the condition of those persons? We do. We know that they are all in fair condition, but they are all being treated for inhaling the gas. Okay. Now, do we know anything about this gas, this trichloroethylene, what it is, what it does? We don't know that much about it, but we do know that it's dangerous, and firefighters are on the scene, and they are using sand to help absorb it, so those others won't be harmed. Okay, well, we'll be checking back later for more information. Thank you. Gene Patterson here. Once again, we're interrupting programming to bring you the latest on that toxic spill at the UT campus. Our own James McVeigh is, is live on the scene. Jim, Jim, what can you tell us? Well, earlier today, um, there were six people injured by a tanker that tipped over, uh, spilling the dangerous chemical trimethylene, and um, six people were injured. Two of them were rail workers named Jim Jones, 41, who's a track worker, and Frank Beeman, 52, a rail supervisor. Um, we're still waiting, you know, final results on their medical, you know, uh, to start that over. <laughs> okay, now we're live here, Jim, so I wanted to ask, uh, what do we know about the scene on the campus? What is being done, for example, to try to clean up this mess? Um, I've been told that the um, Knoxville Fire Department are wearing hazardous suits and they're using sand to absorb the chemicals and attempt to stop it from spreading. Okay, now is anything blocked off? Um, yeah, they're, they've blocked off some of the roads around campus so no one can get too close to the dangerous substances. Okay, we'll, we'll be checking in later for more information. All right. Gene Patterson here. Once again, we're interrupting live programming to bring you the latest on that toxic spill on the UT, UT campus. Our own Justin Drew is out there. Justin, what can you tell us about this? Well, as we mentioned earlier, a tanker has spilled at the CX, CSX rail yard across from the UT Rec Center. Uh, it's contained 20,000 gallons of a chemical called trichloroethylene. Uh, it is somewhat dangerous. Um, so far, we've learned that six people have been exposed to it and are at UT Medical Center. They are okay. They're being exposed for inhalation of the chemical. Uh, James Jones and Frank Beeman are workers for the company, and then Curtis Hedges, Katie Bender, Hashish Amir, and Jennifer Campbell, students um, from UT. They're, as I said, at UT Medical Center, but they are okay so far. Um, sand is currently being used to try to absorb the various pools that have spilled of the chemical, but some has turned to gas. Um, also, parts of Andy Holt Avenue and Pat Summit Street have been currently blocked off to try to keep people from getting near the chemical. Um, and uh, Justin, as, what do we know about this chemical? What is this thing? Uh, well, trichloroethylene is mainly used as a um, sort of an adhesive chemical. It is somewhat dangerous. Uh, small exposures to it usually has a similar effect to uh, using um, an anesthesia, uh, sort of like being intoxicated with alcohol. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be checking back for more information very soon. All right, thank you. Gene Patterson here. Once again, we're following up on that breaking story out at University of Tennessee, uh, the toxic chemical leak. Our own Allison Nichols there. Allison, what can you tell us? Two railroad workers and four students have been taken to University Medical Center after the recent chemical spill. A tanker car tipped over in the CSX yard across the street from UT T-Rex Center. 
The track beneath it apparently failed. The tanker car contains about 20,000 gallons of trichlorothaline. That most of it is spilt. Some of it's turned into gas, but there's still large pools of the liquid. The firefighters are on the scene pouring sand to try to absorb the chemical. Um, the six um, victims have been reported their identity. The two workers, James Jones, 41, he's a track worker. Frank Beams, 52, he's a railroad supervisor. Curtis Hedges, 22, senior. Kate Bender, 19, sophomore. Hashi Amir, 26, is a grad student. Jennifer Campbell's 21, a junior. They all seem to be in fair condition. They're being treated at UT Medical Center for inhalation. Now, what do we know about breathing this stuff? How, how can it affect one? It appears to just be at like an ascetic, um, but they're just treating it as inhalation. No one has been in contact with it other than breathing it. Okay. Well, we'll check back for further details very soon. All right, Gene Patterson, once again, we're interrupting programming to bring you the latest on that UT toxic chemical spill. Our own Jeremy Boyd is live on the scene. Jeremy, what can you tell us about it? Uh, thank you, Gene. As you know, there's been an accident at the CV CXX rail yard across from UT Medical Center early this morning. Uh, it looks like a track failure occurred when, when a uh, tanker car carrying 20,000 gallons of trichloral ethylene across it. Uh, most of the liquid is still inside the tanker, but a significant amount is spilled out in both the liquid and the gas formation. As you can see behind me, 12 uh, Knoxville Fire Department officers in hazmat suits are attempting to use sand to uh, clean up the mess. It looks like uh, four, or, excuse me, four UT students and uh, two rail workers have been taken to uh, UT Medical Center for treatment, and UT has ordered an evacuation of the Facility Services Building, the uh, Transport Services Building, and UT, and UT T Rec Center as well. Okay. Well, that, that, that's a very, isn't that a very popular building, UT uh, Rex? I mean, it might take a while to get all those students out of there. Uh, where we expect that there will be some difficulties there, it's uh, a gymnasium uh, used uh, by uh, all UT students. Okay, now what's the, what, what do we know about this trichloroethylene? What does it do? Uh, how's it dangerous? Uh, trichloroethylene is a chemical solvent that in the past has been used as a military grade weapons cleaning fluid. It uh, can cause a lot of damage if it's inhaled in its gaseous form. If uh, the earliest symptoms of inhalation of trichloroethylene can resemble alcohol intoxication, and continued exposure without medical treatment can actually cause a fatal dose of respiratory and circulatory depression. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We'll be checking back later to make sure nobody gets exposed that badly. Thank you, Gene. Addison, once again, we're interrupting programming to bring you the latest on that toxic spill on the UT campus. Our own Austin Bornheim is out there. Austin, what's the latest? The latest is that uh, the UT's facilities and transportation buildings have been completely evacuated and that the UT staff plans to have all students and faculty out of the t reg in the next five to ten minutes. Okay. And for those who may be joining us just now, what has happened out there? Uh, a tanker car has crashed and fallen off its rail at the CSX uh, rail station across from the T-Rec, uh, causing trichloroethylene to spill all over the ground, and uh, they're using sand to pick that up. And uh, UT blocked off the Andy Holt Street and Pat Summit Drive, and two rail workers and four UT students have been taken to UT Medical Center, but four have been released. James Jones, Curtis Hedges, Hashish Amir, and Jennifer Campbell have all been released, but Frank Beeman and Katie Bincher, Bender are still at UT Medical Center, but are in fair condition. Now, if one were exposed to this gas floating around, how would it affect one? Uh, I'm not aware of that. We have not been told. Okay. Well, we'll check back later for more information.